Just 96 days to go now until Israel's election day. And according to several new polls, Prime Minister Netanyahu and his Likud party are only gathering strength. While well, several other parties appear to be cannibalizing each other, the centrist parties are losing support. Former IDF Chief of Staff Benny Gantz, a man who has never given a single political speech on his opinion since announcing his run, is starting to test voters' patience. He's down in the polls. The head of the Labour Party's decision to humiliate his colleague, Sippy Livni, fire her on camera, is costing him votes too. But Benjamin Netanyahu seems to be running away with it. With me in studio, still our diplomatic correspondent, Mike Wagenheim, also Avraham Nagosa, who is a lawmaker with the ruling Likud party. Thank you so much for being with us. The polls show a lot of support for Likud. We'll get to that in a second. I want to get your response to the violence that we saw today in the Amona outpost. Almost two dozen officers injured by settler violence. What is your response, your reaction to what we saw? Well, it's very sad that... Uh People are uh, damaged, and it is very sad that uh, the rule of law is above all, and uh, keeping the law is very uh, initial and very important step uh, for the first place. So I hope that all sides will take uh, the responsibility of keeping the law and behaving according to the law. The, the polls that we just referenced, uh, several polls show Likud in a very strong position, but there's a lot of un undecided votes between all the other parties. Are you worried? Should Likud be worried about new coalitions forming over the next three months? Well, uh, in Likud, we don't have any uh, doubt that the next government will be established by the Likud party, headed by Benjamin Netanyahu. Because the Israeli citizens are very intelligent, they know which government is doing very well leading the country. As we know that the, this government led the country and continuing to lead in the country, the head leader by Benjamin Netanyahu on security, economy, and diplomacy. What about the linger, the question about a possible indictment? There are reports that the Attorney General is going to get this done next month. Do you, are you worried about the impact? Do you think it's fair, first of all, that an indictment hearing would happen? And does that worry you, honestly, that you would lose support, Likud would lose support if the Prime Minister is going to be indicted? First of all, it's not fair to do that. It is anti-democracy of uh, bringing the issue of indictment uh, during the election time because it is misleading the, pu the public and uh, intervention of the uh, democratic process. Second, uh, even though there is indictment, the prime minister has the full right according to the Israeli law uh, that to lead the country until the court uh, says it is final word. The third thing is that I think um, changing all the time strategies in order to bring down the Likud government against the citizens is it's against the law and it's against the democracy. Mike, politically across the spectrum, how much of this is, are, are voters priced in already? They, I mean, the investigation has been going on for more than a year. Everyone suspects that the attorney general at some point is going to make a move to indict on, on some crime. Uh, it's not going to surprise anyone, right? I mean, are, are voters already factoring in whether they support Netanyahu or not, that, that they know about these investigations. It's not a mystery. Uh, everybody has made up their mind at this point. Either they're with the prime minister or they're against the prime minister. And minds were made up quite some time ago. Uh, a, a indictment or an intent to indict followed by a hearing unless some major revelations are brought to light that haven't already uh, leaked out to the media. I think people have made their determination whether they support this prime minister or they support uh, another party or another uh, uh, member of the opposition.